This is Bronze Age Welder, and we're here at the end of the Iron Age of the Kali Yuga, where crime runs rampant, and every day it seems like thieves are finding something new to steal. Right now, the hot item is catalytic converters, so I'm going to make some shields to protect the precious cats on my Toyota Tacoma. So this is my 2014 Tacoma. It's a four cylinder rear wheel drive and people do make cat shields for the four wheel drive trucks because the catalytic converters are right next to each other. They're side by side directly under the engine compartment. And so they're really easy to cover. It's basically just a skid plate that you just bolt underneath them and prevents you from getting access to it. Whereas on the rear wheel drive trucks, the catalytic converters are in a line. There's one there and another one directly behind it and it's not as easy to cover. So from what I've seen, no one makes one and I work in Long Beach, Signal Hill technically, and as proof, there's an oil derrick and there's a lot of catalytic converter theft around here, around California in general, and I leave my truck parked outside at work and when I'm at home, so gotta get these cats protected. Here I am under the truck and the video is square because I'm using the wide angle lens. This is your front catalytic converter and this is your rear catalytic converter and that's all part of your car's exhaust system. So that exhaust pipe continues to the muffler and then the tailpipe. And the catalytic converter has a bunch of precious metals in them that act as a catalyst to clean up your exhaust. So that's what makes them so valuable. And to steal it, all you need is a sawzall. So you just cut it here, snip your sensor wire and boom, you got that one. And you already got this cut here. All you need to do is make another cut here and you got both the catalytic converters. That's gonna be a nice payday for a thief. So, and a bad day for you. So I'm gonna make a piece of sheet metal that's gonna basically look like a skid plate that's gonna cover this whole area. It's gonna to bolt to the frame using these two bolt holes that are already here. These two bolt holes here. And then there's a hole here that I'm gonna through bolt. And then for this cat, I'm gonna make a rectangular shield that's gonna cover this whole area and have a four inch lip that's gonna be vertical like this. So here's what I have so far. First I made a cardboard template to mark the holes on the frame that I'm gonna to mount to. I took my center punch, punched right through the cardboard onto the sheet metal below to mark my holes, drilled the holes, and voila, there's shield number one. All I need to do now is weld the tab right here to secure it to the frame on this end. This was my first attempt at the rear shield. It's 12 inches by 24 inches long, and I welded on this triangular piece to protect the sensor wire area, and from my limited perspective sitting underneath the truck, I thought that was gonna provide enough protection, but it doesn't at all. So in the previous clip, I was talking about having a four inch lip that would protect access from the side, and that's exactly what that is. So this is my new shield. We happen to have this piece of uh, sheet metal with that one inch lip bent at 90 degrees. We had that from a previous project, so I cut it to four inches wide, and now I just need to stitch weld it onto the plate, and that will be my rear shield. Here are the shields fitted under the truck. This is the front shield. Through bolt to the frame through one of these big holes. Got two more fasteners over here. A rear shield. Now it has this four inch lip for full side coverage. And that's gonna be bolted to the frame using this bolt and this 12 inch tab that I made. I'm gonna weld onto the plate here. And this bolt sticking through the floor, that is for the passenger seat. So I got a three inch long bolt to go through there so I have all this stick out. I'm gonna make an L-shaped bracket that I'm gonna weld on to the inside of this lip to secure it here. And up here, I need to make two brackets that are gonna be welded onto the plate here, and another one here, so that I can mount them to these holes right here.
Here are all the pieces for the brackets. And here are my brackets. Now I just need to mark where they go on the shield and weld them on. The brackets are mounted exactly where I want them to be and I've outlined their location in Sharpie. So now it's time to take the shields back to the fabrication table and weld the brackets on. Yep. Custom made. That's the only problem I had was that the exhaust was kind of bouncing up and down and hitting this thing, so I uh, used this stainless steel cable with the wire clamps to hold it up. That's so smart. that took the vibration out of it. Now you gotta make it up your fuel tank. 